Hello guys, how are you all doing? I am back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Joshua here and today's topic will be talking about why did God create the devil or Satan as many of us know him. So that's the topic for today. Remember if you're new to this YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell. Click also on the like button just to help our video and this channel with the YouTube algorithm. May the Lord bless you. So I wrote down just some few notes for me and you why did God create Satan and um, what I will start with is to define first what the name Satan mean and I will read it down for you the name Satan means the prince of evil spirits an adversary that seduces people to sin and disobey the Lord so Satan is an adversary the prince of evil spirit that causes people to sin against God or disobey the Lord or some some call him the devil which means the same thing you know an adversary the accuser of the brethren as the Bible say he is you know so I want us to go to the question why did God create him and I will just say God the Bible says when God creates something he created to be good and also he created to be perfect so I will say because the devils or Satan he is not good and he is not perfect God did not create Create him, but then who did God create? God created an angel, and the name of an that angel was called Lucifer. You know, and then we know that some people still call the devil or Satan Lucifer today, but that's what God or who God created. It was Lucifer, and Lucifer is actually not a bad thing or a bad name. Lucifer actually means the morning star or light bringing. You know, when you go and read in the Bible, the book of Ezekiel chapter twenty you read through it gives us a picture of who the devil was and his duties and what he used to do while he was still an angel of the Lord but the Bible says he iniquity was found in him and there's a scripture that I will just like us to go through read it and it's in the book of Isaiah Isaiah chapter 14 and then we will pick it from verse 12 it will make some things clear that the devil was actually not the devil from the beginning but he was Lucifer verse 12 says how art thou fallen from heaven O Lucifer son of the morning you know and then how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations you know verse 13 says for thou hast said in thine heart I will ascend to her into heaven i will exalt my my throne above the stars of god i will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north and then verse 14 says i will ascend above the the heights of the cloud i will be like the most high you know so we see that the sin of the devil was pride he thought that because he was so beautiful God has created him to be beautiful and wonderful and nice you know more than even other angels he told himself that I will ascend I will be the ruler of other angels and at the end I will be like the most high God I will be like God you know and you know a created being can never be like God but that's what the devil wanted to be so when you read also you continue reading the same chapter and you go also to the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 you will understand more about what I'm talking about you know God found iniquity in him sin and evil was found in him and that's how God kicked him out of heaven and all the beauty that he possessed was taken away from him you know so that's when he became Satan you know because of the anger and all that and the Bible says he even convinced one third of the angels of God you know and deceived them and all of them were kicked out of heaven and we can see that also in the book of revelation if you have read it before you know so we see that god did not create satan god did not create the devil but god created lucifer and because of sin the sin that was found in him now he became the devil you know so one may also ask that ah if god created him as lucifer and a perfect being then how is it that he sinned you know today we know we sin because the devil tempts us as people because of the temptation that first came from Satan or from the devil you know but now one will ask then where was he where did evil come from you know 
I will say every contravening, when you contravene good, you are actually being evil. Just like as I can make an example with electricity. Electricity is a wonderful and a good thing, you know. But when you use it the wrong way, it can shock you. That's how I can explain evil, you know. The, out of goodness, whenever you do something opposite uh, from goodness, you find evil, you know. The same way as we as human beings, we have free will. We have the gift of free will to choose whatever we want. The same way angel, that's how angels are also just like when god created uh, men men and women he put the tree in the middle of the garden and told them not to touch it not to eat the fruit from the tree you know the tree of good and evil why because love can only be proven where there is a choice you know the reason i say i love my wife today and i love her alone is because you know there were so many choices but i chose her you know so there will always be a choice and the devil chose the wrong choice you understand so that's where evil came from and then but there's something that we as people we cannot understand or explain and that's why i would like to read the book of deuteronomy if you have your bible deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29 it says the secret things belong unto the lord our god but those things which are revealed belongs unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of his law you know so there are some things that we cannot understand fully especially now when we are here on earth you know when we get to heaven we'll get the chance maybe to ask the lord jesus christ or to ask our father to say lord how did things happen how did it come about and all that but what we know right now is that god did not create satan god created lucifer and sin evil created uh, the devil you know or oh, he is the father of all sin and all evil as jesus calls him so guys that's what i can say in this video you know just like when you are born when you are a child you are so innocent and all that and then you when you grow up you have a choice either to steal the candy or not and you choose to steal it and that's how sin creeps in and that's how